hepatitis. What is hepatitis? It is a virus infection of the liver and the inflammation occurs. If hepatitis is untreated, it may become evolved into liver fibrosis, cirrhosis, or liver cancer. Pathogen of hepatitis is the hepatitis B, C, A, E viruses. For hepatitis B and C, it is strong and it causes adult chronic hepatitis. So for B, it is 12% and C, 50% become chronic. Whereas hepatitis A and E, it is weaker and usually causing acute hepatitis and it affects children. So hepatitis causing viruses are not genetically related but they all infect the liver and results in inflammation. Hepatitis B and C viruses transmit through blood contact sex shared needles, whereas hepatitis A and E are transmitted through food, water, poo molecule, and even very small of poo molecule can cause the trans uh, infection. Let's look at the pathophysiology. So firstly, the virus is hiding in the blood, it's called viremia, and because of viruses, body releases chemical, TNF-alpha, and it causes symptoms like fever, headache, vomiting, muscle pain, and also skin rash. In phase 2, the viruses causes liver damage, developing into jaundice, hepatocyte damage, and conjugation ability is lost. Unconjugated bilirubin is leaking, and the brownish ruin can be found. Also, the enzyme is leaking, so there's an increased level of transmutases in found in the blood. And there's also hepatomegaly can might uh, happen. Uh, it is the status that liver becomes larger due to the liver inflammation. The last stage is recovery phase. So the symptoms become mild and slowly improves. The liver size becomes normal again, and uh, feces and urine return to the normal color from the brownish color. It usually takes hepatitis A and E for one or two months, whereas hepatitis B and C takes longer time, about three to four months. So acute hepatitis versus chronic hepatitis. So, yep. So chronic hepatitis is causing uh, six months or more. The inflammation can cause liver cell necrosis and drugs such as isoniazid, sulfonamide, propylthioracil, methyl dopa, nitrofurantoin can cause the chronicity. Um, acute hepatitis means infection for six months or less. So what are the different causes of hepatitis? There are viral causes, the virus from blood contact or viruses through the mouth, food, and poo. The other infective uh, includes the syphilis and leptospirosis. For non-infective ones, there are autoimmune hepatitis, medicine-induced liver disease, and metabolic liver disease, for example, Wilson's disease. So as you can see, uh, hepatitis B is DNA virus, uh, 90 days through blood, and it is severe and 10% of chronicity, whereas all the other hepatitis are RNA viruses. And hepatitis C, is through a needle and shows 50 to 60 percent chronicity, but it is less severe than hepatitis B. So process one: hepatitis virus enters into the liver. Two: liver damages liver and changes antigen structure of liver cell surface. Three: a human body think it as a foreign material, so uh, it destroys the infective liver cell. So it is me killing myself. Four. Infective cell undergoes apoptosis. So for the statistic, hepatitis B and C affected a hell lot of people and it is the major health problem in the world. 325 million people in the world get infected currently. So viral hepatitis, the root cause of liver cancer, and it is leading to more than 1 million deaths per year. Let's look more into hepatitis B. So hepatitis B symptoms include dark urine, pale sheet, increased bilirubin, AST, ALT level in blood, uh, antibodies to core antigen. Hepatitis B uh, pathosiology, 
It is very highly infectious, and historically, it acutely infected more than 2 billion humans so far. Uh, so 12% of infected population develop into the chronic hepatitis. So you should be concerned that this is a serious situation that is threat to humankind, public health, and the result can be death from liver disease, such as cancer or cirrhosis. Hepatitis B V a virus is DNA virus that multiplies within the river, so it can hide itself as reservoir. But how does it spread? Uh, through the blood contact, unprotected intercourse with infected people, male having intercourse with male, sharing needles, or infected mom giving birth to baby. So hepatitis B virus infection phase is incubation period for 4 to 10 weeks, their symptomatic phase. From time to time, hepatitis increases up, and amino transferase enzyme rises in the blood. Also, there is a serial conversion that the anti-hepatitis B core antigen uh, occurs. They come to life. And drug hepatitis B is an entecavir or tenofovir. Um, note that tenofovir can be used in pregnancy. Uh, so, what is entecavir? Entecavir looks like this. So this is the first line and we are using it for 12 months or more. So the first one, uh, surface antigen, it means that the person currently has the hepatitis B infection. The second one is about core antibody and it shows whether the person has ever exposed to hepatitis B virus. And the third one is about uh, antibody of surface and it shows whether the person has immunity or not. So, for this case, the person is feeling unwell, exhausted, brownish pee, and pale color poo. So, when somebody has the results like this, it means the person has no immunity and that has never been infected by any, any uh, hepatitis B. So, we need to go vaccination on the case like this. So this one, the person, Shalaman, never had hepatitis B. He got vaccine six months ago. So the person had a vaccine. It means that he has immunity. So this part, the last part is plus. However, he has never had a virus before or he doesn't have the virus now. So the result goes like this for Shalaman. A met got infected three years ago, no surface antigen found in the blood. In this case, the result is this. Let's check out some misconceptions or questions about hepatitis B. So, can I get hepatitis B from someone by eating meal together? The answer is no. Hepatitis B is through the blood contact, not the food. Can baby get hepatitis B from infected mom? No. Um, so it is through the blood contact. However, uh, it is possible that mom has a hurt nipple, but so uh, the mom has to wait until she is healed in this case. Will hepatitis B appear naturally? The answer is uh, it depends on the age. So 90% of adults will cure naturally and only 10% will become chronic. So adults will have a negative in surface antigen and has antibody within 6 months means that adults is cured. However, uh, in contrast, 90% of infants will develop into chronic hepatitis B infection. Is it possible to get hepatitis B by infected food? Uh, for this case, it is hepatitis A and E, not B. Is it possible to get hepatitis B by touching poo? Yep, so this case is also A and E. Is it possible to get it by intercourse? Yes, absolutely, because um, when doing intercourse, there's increased risk of skin tearing, and it increases the risk of transmission through blood and semen. Hepatitis C. Symptoms of Hepatitis C. So when people get it for the first time, it is likely that it is asymptomatic or has little symptoms like fever or fatigue. 
So there is high risk of developing into chronic infection. So people do not know until it is too late. However, uh, cure rate is around 95%, but it was really hard to cure back in 1990s. So how do people get detected? So sometimes people go to a hospital for another reason and hepatitis C is picked up. So people go to do donate blood and they know that they have hepatitis C through the machine. So hepatitis C is dangerous because it can cause liver cancer and it is transmitted by most commonly tattoo injection. Uh, for this case, um, intercourse is less. So diagnosis, we have two assays um, and a two blood test. So two assays are serologic assays and molecular assays. So serologic assays detect specific antibody to HCV and the molecular assays detect nucleic acid. So people with hepatitis C mostly get it by injection, blood transfusion, donate blood, works in blood exposed environment. Yep, and there are two different blood tests. So hepatitis C antibody test, if positive, exposed to virus now or in the past. Hepatitis C RNA test, if positive, currently have hepatitis C, so it gives viral load. If this is in the case, talk to the doctor about the treatment right away. So what drugs cure hepatitis C? So remember, so valvo clay copy. So there is a valvo car, and we glue it and we copy it. Like this. So valvo clay copy, hep C. So for example, the sophosbuvir and valpatasvir. The brand name is Epluxa. Uh, when taking this drug, do not take antacid within four hours of taking medicine. And if there is a stomach ulcer or heartburn happens, may decrease effectiveness. So hepatitis C drug, so valvo, glucopy. So first line is sophosbuvir plus valpatasvir uh, for 12 weeks. Glycoprevir. P. Brenta CV for without cirrhosis it is 12 weeks. The second line, so Velvo, uh, Sophosbuvir, Velpatasvir, Voxilla Previ, uh, it is for both cirrhosis and non cirrhosis it is 12 weeks. So the goal of the treatment is to eradicate HCV infection. And I, we don't want to see any HCV RNA for at least 12 weeks. It should be non-detectable. And these drugs can cause headache, fatigue, insomnia, and nausea as side effect. Make sure the patient should check the other coexisting liver diseases such as hepatitis B, HIV, diabetes, or obesity. And other current medications such as ethanol estradiol contraception may provoke the drug to drug interaction. Make sure uh, the person has the vaccine uh, against uh, hepatitis B and A is up to date. The pharmacist might not have hepatitis C antivirus, so call ahead so that we do not run out of supply. 